Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the Packet Tracer activity 2.3.1.2 from Connecting Things course from Cisco. This activity is about sensors and packet and the packet tracer microcontroller and the activity is about using the microcontroller MCU and here we have four uh, input or four uh, switches as you will see in a couple of minutes and here we have the actuators or the output there okay so let's get started and starting with the objectives here in part one we are going to get familiar with the sensors and packet tracer act, um, version 7 i'm using version 7.3 uh, in part two we are going to get familiar with the pt microcontroller called pt mcu and then in part three we are going to get familiar with the pt microcontroller programming you in the packet tracer 7 um, version 7 all right so one more time i'm using version 7.3 Okay, so let's see the background. Uh, so by the way, returning back to part three, here we can like write a program, a real program in Python or in Java. But in this activity, we will see the program written in, um, in Python and you will be able to download the program in the description box or from the description box. Okay, so let's jump forward to the scenario here a microcontroller unit mcu is a small computer built in a system on a chip it contains a processor core memory and programmable programmable input output uh, peripherals all right so we are talking about this one here okay so let's see what we can see like what we can get here we have first the specifications here you can write whatever you want here then we have the physical here we have the modules as you can see here we have a feature a single ethernet port here we have fast ethernet port you can connect to it and here we have gigabit ethernet port here we have also like a wireless interface as well and here you can like explore or more about it this is the for example the power adapter which is this one here okay to the configuration or to the configure part here you can connect it uh, to connect this controller to the remote uh, server as we did in the previous uh, videos uh, however we will not use this in this uh, activity but we will do it in the next videos and here we have the programming part you i will walk you through each line here and here we have the attribute okay so you can like you can spend time and read this small introduction but i'm going to move forward and then we are going to get started here here we have also uh, like a small introduction here mcu is a board that has a usb port and uh, six digital input output ports and four analog input output ports for analog input output ports you can see a zero i one this is analog for D is for digital. So from in this topology or in this uh, like network, small IoT uh, connections, here we have digital input zero, digital input one, analog zero, analog one. It's important to notice these from now because in the program we are going to use them. So here we are input to digital to analog, and here we have four output, all of them are digital so here the two digital two digital three digital four digital five and here you can see also that um, like here we can like connect to this you through like a pin so this is pin number zero pin number one and and so on we will return to this when we are going to talk about the program okay so what we can see here the switch controlling the light the toggle push button controlling the led the potential meter controlling this siren and the flexible sensor controlling the motor so if you would like to get this like to control now to turn this uh, light on so you have to 
press the Alt button in the keyboard and then click you can see here it's now like it's on and then it's off here again you will see here this is on but if you want to control this press the Alt uh, button in the keyboard here you can press and you can see here now the siren is like like working here is the volume and there we have a flexible sensor you can see now we're going to control the motor again you can see now the motor is uh, working then return it back okay so this is about how to con like turn on or turn off the um, things here okay these things are connected through the controller um, this one here and here we have the switches okay now let's move forward to the important parts here which is the programming the of this controller okay so let's move here and now we are going to I'm going to co control this one more time or to walk you through this code here let's get it bigger and you can download it from the description box okay so what we need here we need to import a module called GPIO which is for module for input or output or, uh, which is a Python module here we need to import the time because here we need to have a little delay and uh, like between the device when we give a con uh, when we want to control the devices all right so what else we have here for like switches the first one here is be like, will be considered like um, a variable so and as a consequence we have here four variables to read the values from it right so this is the variable number one two three four and here you will see it in the program so here we have four variables switch value for the first one toggle push button value and then potential meter value and then the flexible sensor value by default all of them are off all right so here we have four variables the first function we need to define is to read from these devices like from these switches okay so to do this we have the first function called read from sensors okay for the first one we have global value a switch value we define them as the global variables because we are going to control use them in all the program so here we also have a global variable and then we global variable for the third one and the global variable for the fourth one which we, we agreed that the default value uh, is zero for all of them all right so to read the switch value we have a digital read zero why is zero here because we mentioned that here is digital zero so we read like here from the digital bin zero okay so zero one a zero a one so and that's why we have zero one a zero a one and you can see here this is digital read and this is here we have analog read analog read one more time we agree that this is a zero and this is a one okay so that's why analog and digital because this is an analog here and this is also an analog here we have on or off but here we have analog value okay so that's all with the read from sensors this is the part on the left okay what about the part on the right we need to read the sensors and according to that we need to send the output so here we have output okay so remember d2 d3 d4 d5 okay so here what we have we have to write to actuator again if a switch value is high then we are going to put it as high and this why why we have here two because this is d2 so this is the bin number two so that's why it's two here this one is three this one is four and this one is five okay now we custom write two and then we send two to this then we can turn it on 
and then otherwise if we would like to turn it off then we send on the same pin number zero to turn it off all right this is about the switch value what about that second one which is toggle pu um, the push button value about this one as you can see it is on d3 this one okay so what we can see here toggle push button value if it's high then three high three y because it's d3 in the output else we send it low again the potential value here we have 512 because this is an analog value remember that however you can easily google it if you need more information about it or to modify it but that this is the value here and if you use a code then we if it's five bigger than 512 then it's very high then send it to high which is to digital pin number four otherwise we make it low accordingly okay the third the fourth uh, sensor which is the flexible sensor value if it's bigger than zero then the analog right you can see here now we have an analog right not custom right and then we send to bin 5 flexible sensor value we read it from the value and we send it directly to the motor and otherwise to the 5 we send a 0 to let it like to stop it okay what else we need also to define the main function and then we have to read one more time let's return back here what we need to actually check we need to check the bin d0 d1 2 3 4 5 because there are a digital pins okay so that's why we are going to read this the two the first one bin mode is for n and the 2 3 4 are for output okay the last one is analog if we check this one here it's a which is here as you can see is d5 okay so what we conclude we conclude that we have bin 0 and 1 are for the input and the other three from this side are for the output as you can see 2 3 and 4 okay while true we are going to go through infinite loop and then we read the from sensors we are going to read the values from the sensors and then read from the sensors and then write to the actuators and this is the function here write to the actuator so we are always be in infinite loop read from the sensors write and delay or wait um, like 1000 millisecond and then we return again read from actuate uh, sensors write to actuators and wait 1000 millisecond and so on and in the last part here, if you can see, uh, we already explained this part that we are going to run this code from this file. If we call this file in another file and try to write it, then this value is going to be false and then the main function was not going to be called. Okay, so this is the program part. Okay, if you have difficulties with learn with dealing with Python one more time. I recommend you my course Python uh, Essentials or Python okay so this is all about this program hopefully it's clear actually it's very simple program okay so you only need to tackle or you only need to follow very well or to understand the pins here the digital pins the number of pins and which one is connected as input which one is connected as output which one is analog and so on and then according to that you can write a program okay in part d there is a point here or there is a task that we need to address it to show that we completely understood the task here so here which is currently the light is controlled by the switch and the led is controlled by the push button so here what we can see so the light is controlled by this switch and this led is controlled by the push button so what we need to do is modify the code to make the switch control the led so this is switch controlling the led and 
the push button controlling the light. Okay, so this is a simple task. Let's try to solve it together. So what we can see here, we need to swap the output. So when this one is on, don't send a signal to the uh, D0 or D to D2. In there, send it to D3. And when the push button is on, then send the signal to D2. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go out here and then let's see to write to actuator. So actually, we need to modify these two um, or these uh, lines. So here, what we can see when the right to the when the switch value is high. Okay, so when the switch value is high, we don't need to send the signal to two. So actually, we take it from here. Control C. We need to put it here. Just and we take this. Control C, and then we put it here. Okay, so we don't need it anymore. Here we can do undo, and then we can keep the indentations. And here we take this from here, Ctrl C, and now we put it here just above this. And then we take this, Ctrl C, we put it here. So be careful. Here we have a digital right and custom right. So now we need to change everything here. So control V. So what we can see here, we have here digital right and it was custom right. And then we have here custom right instead of digital right. So we swapped these lines. All right, so let's try now to stop it and then run it again. Now when I like it's uh, when I turn on the switch, the LED should be on. So let's try. As you can see now, the, the LED is controlled by the switch, and this one is control is controlling the, the light here. Okay, so here is the task. You will download one more time that the modified one here in the description box so your task is to return or to write the original code so you have to swap again to return um, to the original code so what i mean is that uh, this one is controlling the led and this one is controlling the light okay so what we have in the fraction here we need the uh, um, what we can see, we need here a challenge. We need to have a kit called Spark Fun. Actually, we will not use, or we will not solve this reflection now because we need some hardware um, tools. Okay, that's it for this activity. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.